Good morning, seventh grade. I certainly miss spending every morning with you guys and being able to share in your amazing humor and your energy. It's definitely a little bit sad here, all quiet and empty. Uh, as we go ahead and get started today, I wanted to make sure that we have a chance to sort of read together, even if it's not exactly the same, especially because poetry can be a little challenging and we're starting our week with a poem called Oranges. Um, this poem is gonna help us understand and uh, really value the role that color plays in the world of the giver. So a lot of us talked when it happened about the incident with the apple. When Jonas and Asher are tossing the apple and it changes and suddenly we realized that their world didn't have any color in it. Jonas begins to be able to see the color and some of you, as you've continued reading, have been able to sort of see color unfold for Jonas as he gets more and more memories, as he learns more and more about the history of his society, he sees more and more colors. So to help us understand the connection between memory and color in our own world, um, I picked this poem for us and I can't wait to see what you guys think of it. As I read, please read along with me and annotate as you go. I'm gonna encourage you to read it at least two or three or four times it's not a very difficult poem, but it's always helpful when you're reading poetry to be able to give it that second look, give it that third look, um, get it, be able to get beyond just what's happening in the poem to what are the words doing in the poem. The first time I walked with a girl, I was 12, cold and weighted down with two oranges in my jacket, December, frost crackling beneath my steps, my breath before me, then gone, as I walked toward her house, the one whose porch light burned yellow, night and day, in any weather. A dog barked at me until she came out, pulling at her gloves, face bright with rouge. I smiled, touched her shoulder, and led her down the street, across a used car lot and a line of newly planted trees, until we were breathing before a drugstore. We entered the tiny bell bringing a sales lady down a narrow aisle of goods. I turned to the candies, teared like bleachers, and asked what she wanted. Light in her eyes, a smile starting at the corners of her mouth. I fingered a nickel in my pocket, and when she lifted a chocolate that cost a dime, I didn't say anything. I took the nickel from my pocket, then an orange, and set them quietly on the counter. When I looked up, the lady's eyes met mine and held them, knowing very well what it was all about. Outside, a few cars hissing past, fog hanging like old coats between the trees. I took my girl's hand in mine for two blocks, then released it to let her unwrap the chocolate. I peeled my orange that was so bright against the gray of December that from some distance, Someone might have thought I was making a fire in my hands. Again, I encourage you to read that maybe once, maybe twice more. Add some annotations. You're at home, so you have different kinds of resources. Maybe you have different colored highlighters. You want to highlight different colors for different colors that are mentioned in the text. Maybe you want to underline colors a certain way and then circle words that are about his memories. So thinking about that, share this poem with someone in your house. Explain to them what you think is going on. Uh, explain, have them explain to you what they think is going on. Uh, use the people around you as a resource. Use your classmates via Google Classroom, maybe texting them um, to just check in and see what they think is going on in this poem. Again, it's not all that challenging. It's just a sort of normal uh, expression of adolescence and sort of the connection between Gary Soto's memory and how he sees um, the colors and the things that are happening in his memory, what sticks out to him. So your assignment following this is uh, we're going to write our own versions of this poem. So in doing that, you're going to um, work on your own version. So you're gonna weave together 
color and memory in a way that sort of shows that you understand the themes that the poem is trying to express. And then tomorrow, um, based on what I get shared on Google Classroom, I'll share a couple of those out with you so that you can hear from each other what you're doing so that you know that I'm hearing you. Um, and then we're gonna discuss a little bit um, on Google Classroom and sort of via Jupiter about what this poem means and what its connection is to the giver. I hope you guys are taking care of each other and of your families, staying safe and healthy. I definitely miss you guys a lot and I will see you tomorrow for a fresh video.